Okay, we're going to use an app called Bazaar. So I've downloaded this up the app store. Remember I'm iPhone. So this app is a paid app. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the seven day free trial. So I'm not gonna pay for the monthly option. So I'm just gonna click here and I'm just gonna use my ID to subscribe for seven days. What I've done is I've canceled the subscription straight away. So I've got it for seven days so I can show you how it works and then it's up to you if you want it. So the first thing I open the app and I get all of these wonderful templates. So if you've used the app Canva, you'll be familiar with this. So I can do Instagram templates or I can do real estate, podcast art, Instagram posts or different layouts. There's loads and I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'll let you have a look at those. I'm gonna start with a photo. So first of all, if I start from scratch, you'll notice I get a blank template. So let's do this again, start with a photo. So I'm just gonna bring a photo in. Let's have a look down here. Okay, uh, there's one of me for a recent photo shoot I was doing. So I'm just gonna click this and you'll see I've got this background behind me. So what I'm gonna do is gonna scale this up a little bit, move that across and I'm just doing this by pinching my fingers together and I'm gonna go down the bottom and I'm just gonna have a quick play with the features just to show you what these do. So first of all, I can add overlays. So if you look, there's loads of different overlays. So this is the video ones. And again, I won't go through them all. I'll just go through a couple so you can see how this works. They're really cool if you wanna create animated GIFs for your social media, for example, or you want to create a really interesting look. So here's a vintage one that I'm looking at now, which has got different kinds of vintage filters on them so you can make your image look like it's old or just add a different quality to it really. So here's one with the shadow. So this is quite interesting because there's lots of shadows in my image anyway because it's a photo shoot so we use light in a creative way. All of these overlays, you can move them. So if you get your two fingers together and you pinch and drag and move them across, you can rescale all of the light. I'm just gonna leave this in here for now. As you can see, by clicking at the top, I can go upside down if I want to, so I can move my image around. Obviously, this is a picture of me, so I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go back down and just look at my light leak again. I'm just gonna change it now. That's quite interesting, I quite like that look. And again, this is completely unique when you're looking for these kind of features. I always think sometimes though that less is more. Um, and again, you know, you, you, you judge this, you know what you like and you know what kind of effect you want on your images. That's a little bit too strong for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop the opacity right down there. And I'm gonna make it so it's hardly noticeable. Excellent, there we go. Okay, so let's move on and move into the next bit. What I can also do is I can add something called stickers. So these are little things that you can add into your image. You can pop them on um, and you can create different effects. Again, I don't want to do this with this one. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna look at my background. Now you'll notice that for me to do this, it's telling me I need a transparent background. So if I just go down here next to duplicate, you'll see magic. So I just click it and it is magic. Watch, watch this, takes away my background. It isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. And also, you know, remember what people are gonna watch your images on. If I scaled in, you'd notice a little bit of fringing, but we can fix that anyway. I'm super impressed with this. So now what I can do is I can add a shape. So let's just have a quick look. And I'm doing this just really quickly um, for the sake of this tutorial. If I was gonna do this for a poster and we are gonna do a poster uh, tutorial later, I take a little bit more time. Remember, all of this is on my phone. So all I'm doing is I'm creating these little squares and I'm just moving them around, duplicating them etc. Maybe I'll add another one. Let me see what they've got. Actually, let's stick with this. Now, what I will say is when you work on a phone, this can be a little bit tricky. Um, I've got quite large fingers, so I find this a little bit tricky. It's quite delicate, so you might have to have a little bit of patience with yourself when you're doing this. As you can see, I could change the color. I could change the opacity. Now, you'll notice these squares in the background. They will not appear when you export this. So when you send this out, they won't appear. So I'm just gonna give that a shadow. So I've just clicked the shadow and I'm, as you can see, playing with that shadow. I can also play with the angle. I can play with the blur. I can play with the color of it. Just moving around. Let me just have a look, just play with this color of this shape a little bit, yep. And again, I'm doing this super quick. There are many, many more features 
that you'll notice. So I've just clicked magic again. If I click refine edges, you'll notice everything that's not me is red. So that's just get telling me what area is getting um, rid of. I've, I've made transparent. So I'm just looking through what else can we have here? Yep, yeah, let's go back to our overlay. Let's go back to our light leak. That's quite nice. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. So what I've done, you'll notice my light is coming from the left side as you're looking at the image. So when I put my light leak in, I want that going from the same side. So it almost looks like the light leak into the camera is also leaked into the image. So I can scale this up and down and you'll notice that circle all I've done is grab the bottom and move that. And then all I do, save my image, send it to social media, WhatsApp it to a friend or message it, for example. Save it, there you go. Little confetti, that's now saved to my photos. So guys, have a play, experiment. This is just some of the basic features and some of the things that you can do with this Bazaar app. There will be a couple of more tutorials that I'm gonna do with you around that. Before we leave this session though, let's add a little bit of text. So I've clicked text, it's added it in there. I'm just gonna put it down there. That's me, that's Wayne, just in case I forget who I am. Brilliant, okay, so. Task is have a play, see what you can do, experiment with the different options, and I will see you in the next session for more Bazaar training.